Granny. It's Friday and I'm going to the Mother Church in Santa Rosa in the big city. I'm going to go have coffee with one of our parish priests and I'm going to talk to her about David among other things. Um, you know I'm having kind of this I guess it's a spiritual conflict, a Christian conflict over David because he is, he's so disruptive. He would be the first to complain and often does that our church attendance is not growing um, and truth be known, I think that's due to his behavior. I think when we do have visitors they may not be coming back specifically because there's this disruptive person there. Um, and at the same time, you know, you're supposed to love your neighbor. Um, there's a proverb that says, love your neighbor, but don't pull down your fence. And I imagine a lot of people who like the idea of Trump's border wall would probably pull that scripture right out, dangle it in front of your face and say, see, it's supposed to have walls. <laughs> I think we're supposed to have boundaries. I think boundaries are really what the issue is in that scripture. So I need to um, I need to talk to my priest and kind of clarify for myself what my boundaries should be in this situation. My primary devotion, of course, is to the community as a whole. I want everybody to feel comfortable. And if one person is making a bunch of people uncomfortable, that's got to somehow be changed. Whether you go about changing it through psychology, through, you know, telling somebody that if things continue the way they are, they're going to have to not come back for a while. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the proper steps are to take if you've got somebody that's that disruptive in a church. I really don't know. So, I'm going to go get some wisdom. And, uh, yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. Am I going to be late? No, it looks like I'm going to be on time. That's a good thing. I think I'm going to get a mocha. That sounds good. Get me a big mocha with whipped cream on it. Get a big whipped cream mustache and just pour my heart out. Oh, just stop right in the middle of everything. Make your left turn. That's, that's good. I went to the coffee shop where I was supposed to meet my priest and she didn't show. And I sent her a message and she didn't return the message. So I hope she's okay. Um, probably just like slipped her mind or a meeting ran overtime or I don't know. But in any case, that was kind of a lot of wasted time and gas, but Part of me wants to just like stroll around downtown, at least since I'm here. And another part of me doesn't really want to, just kind of wants to go home. It's an absolutely beautiful afternoon though. I overdressed. I'm wearing a very warm jacket and it's quite warm outside. So, um, yeah. I think I'm just going to head home. Uh, I didn't really have any lunch today. I'm just like full of coffee. 
So I should probably go home and have some food. And, uh, yeah. So that just kind of turned into... That kind of turned into a wasted trip, didn't it? And I got you guys all excited, thinking that we were going to address the David issue, but clearly that's going to have to wait for another day. Maybe I can get my priest on the phone tonight and just have a long conversation with her on the phone. It's not the same, though. I like face-to-face. -face. I don't like telephones. I never did. Well, yeah, actually, that's not true. When I was a kid, I liked telephones. Then I married a guy who, like, every time the collection agencies would call, he'd hand me the phone. And so I became kind of paranoid of telephones. And I, I'm still not crazy about them. All right. Going home. Um, let's see, am I going to continue this video when I get home? Or am I just going to leave this here? I guess I'm going to have to leave this as a to be continued. Okay. I'm going to go home. And pray about it, I guess. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Don't forget Granny loves you. I'll see you soon. Bye.